Audio Jungle. Good day everyone, it's me, your teacher Gerald Catalon, and I will be your grade 8 science teacher for today. I know that we are all facing difficult times right now because of this pandemic. But always remember that no one or nothing can ever stop our willingness to learn. So come on, let's make learning fun and cool. So before we are going to discuss our topic for today, I am reminding everyone to please listen carefully and focus your eyes on me. Yes, sir! Okay, so our topic for today is all about the Newton's three laws of motion. So do you know who is Newton? Well, his full name is Isaac Newton. Familiar, right? Yes, because he is one of the most influential scientists at all times. Why? because his ideas became the basis for modern physics. So before we go further, let's know the differences between the force and motion. Well, let's make it simple. Force refers to the strength and motion refers to the movement. So now, actually, we have the three laws of motion. First, we have the law of inertia. Second, we have the law of acceleration. And third, we have the law of interaction. So for today's video, I am going to discuss the first law of motion, which is the law of inertia. So the law of inertia states that a body will remain at rest or move in a constant velocity unless acted upon an external or unbalanced force. So what does it mean? Imagining that you are practicing for your 100 meter race on this track and you suddenly stop immediately within a second, would you able to do it? What if suddenly someone tells you to turn towards the right? Would you able to turn immediately? The answer to both questions is no. You can stop, yes, but gradually. You can turn, but not sharply. And guess what? It's the same story in objects. If it is at rest, it will remain at rest. If it is in motion, it will stay in motion. But what can change this? Only unbalanced force can change this. If it is at rest, and there's an unbalanced force acting on it, then it will move. If it is in constant motion and unbalanced force acting on it, it may accelerate or change direction. You can also understand it using the diagram. If forces are balanced, it has two cases, object at rest and object in uniform motion. If the object is at rest, it stays at rest. If the object is in uniform motion, it stays in motion. Remember that this will remain true if the forces are balanced. That's how the law of inertia works. Can you state the law of inertia by yourself without looking at your notes? Okay, try it. Very good! Once again, the law of inertia states that a body will remain at rest or move at a constant velocity unless acted upon an external or unbalanced force. I hope you learned something from this video. Keep safe everyone and God bless you all.